The first garment I put on was my split drawers. I made these using the Truly Victorian pattern TV106 and I added pin tucks and lace to the bottom of the legs. Then I donned my 1860s chemise, which I drafted using the instructions from Elizabeth Stuart Clark. It sits off the shoulders, and I decorated it with matching lace along the hem. Next, I put on stockings and shoes from American Duchess. The silk stockings have beautiful black clocking on the sides. The shoes are Astoria in the colour ivory. Then it was time for my red threaded 1860s gourd corset. This does take some care to put on and is comfortable and supportive. I made this corset out of cotille and red silk. I quilted the panels for the hip and bust gauze. I decorated it with lace and flossing using silk thread and added an arrow hook to keep the waistband of my petticoats down. I'm really happy with the shape that it gives. To make my corset cover, I scaled up the Christine corset cover pattern from Bella May's designs. I created an opening for the arrow hook and I added lace trimmed ruffles to smooth the hard line from the upper edge of the corset. I made the Truly Victorian 1865 Elliptical Cage Crinoline TV103. This was a nice pattern to work with. The bag at the bottom means I don't step through the hoops and I really like how the volume is to the rear. It's easy to sit down in and to manoeuvre. I made a ruffled petticoat out of cotton voile. The waistband is held down at the front under the arrow hook on the corset. Five tiers of ruffles give lots of body and smooth out over the hoops. My final 1860s undergarment is a simpler petticoat, this time with a narrower waistband and just one ruffle at the hem. Overall, the undergarments are delightful, particularly when twirling. <laughs>